Hi everybody, hope all is well with you. So I am at the gym. Uh, I just pulled in right now uh, to drop the kids off at school. So they're all settled and now I'm taking some time for myself and getting in my workout. As much as I really just want to go back home and start working on stuff at home, I know it's really important for me to take the time out of my day uh, to look after myself and get in my workout. Please remember, you guys, put yourself first. Take care of yourself. The housework, the errands, the phone calls, those can be done at any time. You will feel better and more productive if you get up, get out of the house, get your workout in. If you are if you remember the gym and you haven't used it, utilized it to its full potential get out there and use it uh if you don't have a gym membership still there's no excuses get out go walk the dog take a walk around your block uh you know do exercises at home just anything to get yourself moving really really important and you'll feel so much better you'll actually get more done during the day uh, and have a little more energy so highly highly recommend talk to you a little bit um about the gym so I've been a member at this gym for about two years now, okay? And for this two years, I've been in the same classes. I go to group fitness classes. Um, and I just felt that I needed more. I didn't feel like I was getting the results that I wanted out of these classes. So I bit the bullet and I went and inquired about their personal training program. And it's not cheap, but it was just an investment that I was willing to make because I just felt that I was getting nowhere with group fitness classes other than the social aspect. It was really nice. You meet really nice people. You kind of see the same people over and over again. And um, so that's kind of nice. But as far as my, my fitness goals, it just was lacking. You know, the, the weights that were used were not heavy at all, not heavy enough for me anyway. Maybe they're good for someone who has different uh, fitness goals than I do. And I do tend to notice that a lot of the, the people in the group fitness classes, specifically when I go in the mornings, are typically the older generation, um, 60s, 70s, even some 80 year olds, amazing 80 year olds that go to these classes and stay active. I'm just, those are my life goals when I get to be that age. So. But they're, they're out there working out. And so I don't know if these classes really kind of cater more to them and kind of just take it easy. Um, but for me, I was needing more. It just wasn't meeting my needs at all. I wasn't seeing results like I want. So I went and, and like I said, I inquired about the personal training program. And um, I signed up for once a week, about 25 to 30 minute session. And... You know, again, guys, if you're going to go the personal training route, please make sure that you get matched with a personal trainer that is on the same page as you as far as your fitness goals. I was matched with a personal trainer, um, and after the first session, I knew that she was just not for me, okay? Um, it, it just was not a good match. I didn't feel like I was being pushed. I didn't feel like she was really uh, doing enough you know, using enough weights, um, really pushing me. That, that's a big thing. I didn't feel, I, I, I felt it was, you know, very, very easy. Our personalities just weren't going to mesh. And if I'm going to see someone once a week, um, you know, for personal training, I want to A, make that session count. I want to work hard. I want to really get something out of it because again, I want to see results. I want to see changes. I'm in a point right now in my and my physical uh, goals, my, my gym goals, my workout goals, where I want to see results. I want to start seeing muscle building. I want to start seeing um, you know, that kind of stuff. So she just wasn't a good match for me at all. And at first I was like, oh, you know, I feel bad. I mean, I don't want to, you know, uh, I don't want to hurt her feelings. I mean, she's a really nice person and this, that. But I just, I felt like she, um, personal training wasn't her passion. Like, I feel like she was using it as kind of a, a segue, or not a segue, but she was using it as a, a, a way to get through school, uh, something on the side. That's what it felt like. I didn't feel like it was like her, her thing, you know? So I did talk to the lead person that was there, and I said, you know, if we find a better match, because she's she's not really what I'm looking for. So then she matched me with a really, really great personal trainer who knows what he's doing, who, you know, really kind of pushes me, um in a way that I need as far as weights and as far as really showing the proper technique. I mean, the first session we were doing deadlifts. He wants me, he's, he's working with me with uh, squats, with a bar. 
Um, really, really good stuff. So please, if you're gonna get a personal trainer, which I really do highly recommend, make sure that you're matched with somebody that you mesh with that is going to be on the same page as you with your with your fitness goals. Um, I do recommend making that initial investment, even if it's just like a, a six month investment, anything. Because here's a problem, when I was going to group fitness classes, I was always, like that was my safe zone, because honestly, I didn't know how to use the machines. I didn't know what to do on the machines. I was a little bit intimidated. What am I gonna do? How much weight do I use? It was just intimidating for me. I think for a lot of people who aren't used to being on the floor with machines and free weights. You know, you're not gonna go because you feel intimidated. Maybe you're intimidated by the people that are there that are in better physical shape than you. Um, that that was me. So working with a trainer, he gets me out on the floor. He wants me to be comfortable with the machines and the free weights. We're gonna start using free weights. And in the area that I would have never gone to, that's what we are working on. So, and remember guys, when you go to the gym, you know, as much as you think, oh, people are looking at me or this, that, no one, no one is looking at you. No one really cares. They're there to work out on their own, you know, on their own bodies or they're there with their own fitness goals. They just want to go work out. So get out of your comfort zone and get out there on the floor, whether it's with a personal trainer or whether you download, there's a ton of apps that I was looking at before I hired the personal trainer that will actually take you through a workout program with the weights and the gym equipment. So utilize all that. There's so much out there. Um, just don't use excuses. <laughs> I mean, a lot of us kind of get stuck in using excuses. Um, you really have no excuse to get out on the floor uh, unless you have some physical, um, you know, reason that you just can't do machines or weights. So anyway, uh, working with a personal trainer once a week. I go Mondays. So today I'm actually going to go in and do a little bit of cardio. I'm going to go through, I'm thinking legs today. I'm going to do legs today. My arms have been pretty sore. Uh, since I've been working out with a personal trainer, my muscles have been screaming at me. Uh, I mean, I mean, I've, I've worked out in ways I've never worked out before my whole entire life. Uh, you know, doing, working muscle groups that I've never used before. So my whole body has been screaming at me for the past week. Uh, I've been with this trainer almost two weeks now. So it's just, it's going really well. I'm hoping to see results. And um, so that's what I'm kind of up And to. also what's nice about working out with, it, with a personal trainer <clears throat> is the fact that they'll show you proper form and technique. A really good personal trainer will show you how to do the exercises without getting hurt. Uh, when we were doing the, um, the, the squats and the deadlifts, he was really looking at my form, making sure that I'm not gonna injure my knees or my back or my shoulders. So that's another advantage of getting started with a personal trainer is that you'll become comfortable using the machines, the weights, and you most importantly will use and learn proper form and technique. The worst thing you can do is go into a gym not knowing what you're doing and use poor technique and now you get injured and now you're, you can't do anything. So please take the proper precautions to be safe, especially if you're in your you know, 40s, 50s, 60s. We really have to be careful um, with you know our bodies and we have to be careful with not doing things that will injure us um, because the worst thing that could happen is oh you injured your back now you're out for six months you're out for eight months you know that would be not an ideal situation so i'm all for personal uh, hiring a personal trainer uh again it's not cheap but it's a good investment to make in yourself if you are a gym member i felt like <clears throat> you know being at the gym I just wasn't utilizing the gym to its fullest potential. Um, I was literally walking into a group fitness class and walking up, you know, like after the hour was done, I was done. It wasn't challenging for me. My heart rate was barely increasing. Um, I wasn't really stressing my muscles enough to see a difference. Uh, it was kind of easy, you know. Um, so that's what I was doing. 
and that is why I'm changing things up. So I will let you know how that's going. Hopefully give you some updates as I work with the trainer and as I see some, you know, more muscle developing as a result of using, uh, you know, heavier weights and doing different exercises. So let me know in the comments below if you work with a personal trainer, let me know your experiences. And have you ever been matched with a personal trainer that just doesn't mesh with you? Um, you know, and honestly, when I was matched with the first personal trainer, I initially thought, well, I'll give her a month. But then I thought, no, like, why should I stick with someone that I know isn't going to work well with me? You know, I want somebody who's going to be passionate about personal training, who's going to be there every step of the way, making sure you have proper form and technique and educate you while you're doing the exercises as well. So have any of you ever been with a personal trainer that maybe wasn't the best for you, but you stuck with them? Or did you end up switching personal trainers? Let me know your experiences. I've never worked out with a personal trainer before. This is my first experience with a personal trainer. And I think just, it's always just been too expensive for me. Oh, I can't afford it or it's on a budget. But you really do have to budget for it. Again, if you just do like a short six month you know, commitment and then at that six months, now you've got a whole book of exercises that you can now take and use to continue on. Um, so anyways, you guys, that's it for me. I better head in there before too much more time passes. I have a lot to do today. It's a full day as always. I better go because again, I know I'm going to snap my fingers and it's going to be you know, time to pick the kiddos up from school. So I've got a lot to do today, guys. I hope you have a productive day. Get your workout in. Get it done. You've got this, you guys. Get some activity in. Go walk in your living room for 20 minutes if it's snowing outside. Um, just do anything. Just get moving. You'll feel better. And you'll get a lot of health benefit out of it. So, all right, you guys. I'm going to catch you later. See ya. Bye.